Hello there, I, uh, I recently just purchased this 80 volt cobalt uh, electric lawnmower, battery operated. Uh, I didn't see a lot of reviews out there for this particular mower. I saw the, there's a lot of reviews for the, the 40, I think it's the 40 volt where it has two batteries, there's two battery banks that are actually on the mower. Um, but I didn't see a lot for this and I was kind of skeptical about buying it just because there's not a lot of reviews out there. But there were, you know, very good reviews of the 40 volt. It only makes me think that, well, you know, this 80 volt, you know, bigger and better. So it's, you know, I would think that it it would be just as good as those reviews, if not better. So anyway, I, I got it yesterday, charged with one of the batteries and and uh, cut the grass. I got to say, I, I love it. It's it's a lot lighter than my previous gas mower, a lot quieter. It's obviously it starts real easy. There's just a let me start it up so you can hear how loud it is. There's two stage startup where you have to hold the trigger and then pull the handle. So let me do that. That shuts right off. It's great. Um, obviously it's a safety feature for the for the two stage like that, but it's great for starting and stopping. You don't have to oh let me prime it or let me pull the cord. It's just it's start up and go it's great <clears throat> now the battery on it goes right in here there's a little indicator on the front i have a three bars still and it's real easy to push the trigger down oh, it's tough to do with one hand, one hand. Go. i know it says 80 you know 80 volts the highest volt lawnmower out there i noticed uh, it's only two amp hours. There's a couple of other lawnmowers out there I've, I was looking at, the Ego in particular. Um, it only comes, I think theirs is a 56 volt, but it's four amp hour. So you probably get, well, I would say, a little better runtime out of that battery than this one. Um, but the Ego, that only comes with one battery. And you have to purchase, you can purchase another one, but it's separately, obviously, and it costs more. This one came with two batteries. See over here, amongst all of the stuff I have in the garage, here's the other battery charger with the other battery, fully charged, uh, which is great. Only takes a half an hour for a full charge. And the runtime I found yesterday, um, I only have, <clears throat> I'd say quarter of an acre of a of a yard, so nothing nothing big. And <clears throat> the one battery got me through three quarters of it. Which is great because the, water, the the grass was completely saturated, uh, very wet, and I would say medium height. It, it was you know thick enough, and it it went right through it, no problems. Um, I noticed getting through some heavier patches that it'll kick itself into a like a high speed. When I just started up there, that was a normal low speed, and then once it, once it reaches a lot of resistance, then it kicks it up into a higher speed. And yeah, I, I didn't have any problems in terms of performance at all, taking the grass down or, I, I bagged it, I didn't mulch it, so I'm curious to see how good it's gonna do during mulching. Um, but yeah, battery, battery life was great. Obviously, you know, we'll see how that goes in the next year or so as batteries go. Um, but there's a couple things. Let me show you how to adjust the deck height. This is really nice, uh, really convenient, just one lever. And I have it on three. There are, you see all the grass all over it, uh, seven settings. So I have it on three, but it's just a one lever. When you raise and lower it, the whole deck goes with it. So you can see, it's, there's, it's connected to, there's another linkage over here which brings the rest of it up and down. But it's real easy to adjust the deck height, just one hand. So that's great. I was kind of concerned about that. <clears throat> like I said, lightweight. I like everything about it. I would say if we had to list some negatives, what I don't like. Come on. You're building this awesome lawnmower, battery operated, you know, lithium batteries and all this technology. And you still have these little knobbies. Come on. This is... The, one of the things I did like about the Ego, they have little little latches right here on both sides. And then this whole, this top handle telescopes down into this base. And then there's a one-handed lever that folds the whole handle assembly down. And it's completely, con you know, it's all it's all very quick and very thought out. This, this kind of seems like they took a handle design off a regular lawnmower and just 
you know, I'm kind of disappointed at that, but I mean, functionality doesn't really affect anything. Um, to flip this forward, you have to turn this, which disengages it from that side. You got to do it on both sides. Same thing. Now the handle, <clears throat> you can either fold it completely flat. I mean, like I said, you have to undo these to fold the top half down. Um, or you can, the handle has a few different height options. So if you want your kid to mow the grass, uh, which everyone does, put it on the lowest setting. Clicks for in. Okay. So, I mean, obviously that's way too <laughs> low for me. But yeah, perfect for a little kid, which, you know, that's what we all want. <clears throat> uh, so I'd say the handle design is probably what I'm most disappointed with. But in terms of cut, in terms of uh, battery life, uh, ease of adjusting the deck, and power, yeah, it's really impressed with that. Um, let's actually let me flip this up. Oh, and then also taking this mulch bag off is a lot easier than my previous lawnmower. Maybe my previous lawnmower is just a big piece of junk. I don't know, but it was kind of difficult and I needed two hands and I couldn't. What I like about, I mean, I kind of need two hands with this one too, but what I like about this one is I can just pull this bag up and I can come right up with it. My previous one, I would always have to come under the handle because it wouldn't come up through. So it was kind of awkward. So I do like that. This bag, you know, it, it dumps easily. And my, again, my last lawnmower bag, it just seemed to, the grass would get jammed in there. I couldn't pour it out. So for whatever that's worth, it pours out of the bag easy. <clears throat> so obviously that was the bag. This is in mulch setting. Like I said, I haven't tried. See how that's gonna do. Let me flip the handle forward. And let's, rip anything off. Let's do it this way. There we go. Okay, just to give you a look at the underside of the deck. I'm curious to see what it looks like after yesterday too. Um, yeah, obviously I didn't clean it. I mean, it's going to get used again, so I don't know, it kind of feels useless to keep cleaning it. Uh, what I do like is it looks, <clears throat> again, I've looked at a couple other ones. They have a previous model of Cobalt's that used two, uh, two blades instead of the one. Which, you know, looking at it, I'm like, well, that's pretty cool. I would, I don't know, I would think you get more mulching action because there's two blades. But if you ever have to replace the blades, it's kind of a specialty size. You're not going to find a tiny little blade like that. This looks, looks like a traditional blade like any other blade you'd find out there. And you might be able to, I know they have those dethatching ones with the little, you know, the little rakes on it. I don't know if, you know, I've done that in the past. It, it does a good job of tearing up the yard and, and it looks like you're doing a good job in terms of practicality. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's good for the grass. I don't know. But here's your side discharge. There's an adapter that came, came with it too. Of course it's, Completely lost in here. Um, oh, there it is. <clears throat> I haven't installed it, but I'm assuming this door pops open. And this, I wonder if it clips on there or on there. Mm. Oh, I see. It goes onto this hinge. Okay. It might snap on there, but yeah, it does actually. You can see it's not fully sitting. There we go. Okay. I don't know. I don't. I don't really side discharge a lot. That just seems like you're making a mess and just leaving it. I mean, the mulching. You're trying to do something with it, and bagging is well. You're bagging it and cleaning it up. <clears throat> Another thing I love about it, obviously, because it's an electric. They probably shouldn't rotate it too much. It's going to get goofy if you're viewing this. Uh, but you can store it upright. You're not, you're not spilling any gas. I had this neighbor of mine who shall remain nameless. I let him borrow my my gas lawnmower a year or two ago. I was like, yeah, no problem. Just put it back when you're done. And the goofy thing was, 
it's not like, okay, I had my previous lawnmower stored in a shed out back and I leave it essentially just like this. I'm like, oh, okay, no problem, just put it back and you're done, you know, whatever. And I come back and the guy, I don't know, he couldn't figure out how to fold the handle or whatever. So I come back in there. back in there and the lawnmower is like this it's in the shed like look like, what are you doing like what the f and of course there's gas and oil all over the place like you know you'd think you think just lending someone a lawnmower would be pretty straightforward anyway so if i were to lend this out obviously there'd be no problems with that um anyway back to the back to the lawnmower itself yeah i like and also i like the, the grip too it's a nice uh, ergonomic foam grip my last lawnmower you know you're dealing with the engine vibration it's not propelled at all and it's just it's kind of it's more straight and you're dealing with the engine vibration and i don't know i would get fatigued from using it uh, a lot faster this one was really lightweight really smooth uh, i was actually cutting the grass yesterday with my my little one running around in the backyard and i could hear him because this isn't too loud and okay he's doing something let me just let go and go go get them or go help them whatever and then we're right back to I get right back to it no problem so that was great um yeah overall i would say out of five stars i would give it probably four and a half just on handle design just the one knock just that well maybe on the, you know the price is kind of expensive i paid 500 for it but you know like i said it's for what you get you get two batteries and it let and the battery itself, let me see, I did three quarters of my yard. And it took me about maybe an hour. I was kind of on and off with it. I was kind of, you know, picking stuff up and, and, you know, getting the little one out of, you know, out of way or something. So it wasn't a consistent hour, but it was on and off. And, yeah, the battery lasted just fine. And... You know, like I said, it charges in under a half an hour. Or, I'm sorry, in a half an hour. So, you're going to have a battery at all times. So, that's great. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited to see. And I'm a guy, trust me, I hate cutting the grass. When I get home from work, I just want to sit in the air conditioning and do nothing. I hate doing yard work. You know, I got this. I'm like, oh, you know, it kind of, I don't know, reinvigorates me to cut the grass. Again, I don't know how long that's going to last. Probably only until... If, gets really hot out and then I'll hate it again but for the time being it's nice and and yeah overall it's a really good mower oh and another thing again on the ego I was really close to buying that it had LED headlights on it which was really cool I'm a, I'm a sucker for LEDs you know practically I'm probably not going to cut the grass in the dark but it's a nice feature to have again this doesn't it seems you know LEDs don't draw any power at all compared to any other kind of lighting it seems real easy just to put it on there so anyway this is my review if you have any questions just post them and i'll try to get to them as soon as i can thanks for viewing